Hello, my name is Youssef, and today I will show you how to use data sharing between a Databricks environment and your own laptop. So first, as you can see, I, of course, everything I will show you right now can be done through uh, the API, but also through the UI. And the first thing I will do, I'll create my first share. So create share if not exist, I will call it data sharing. And I did add the comment that is my first share. And now I can show you like that inside this share, I have nothing, which makes sense because I just created this share. And now what I will do, I will just add inside this share, my first Delta table. So that I already have. And of course I need to have the permissions to be able to add this table to this specific share. And now I need to create the recipient, which means the, the, the consumer who will use this specific uh, table. So I'll call it, call this person consumers. And now I'll have here what we call an activation link. So I need to go and I'll copy paste this link. As you can see, it will create, I, it will lead me to a web page where I will download the credential file. And just keep in mind that this credential file can only be downloaded uh, once. This is very, very important. And now that I have downloaded this uh, file, I need to grant the permission to uh, this recipient to access my Delta sharing. So I will show grants, of course. If I show the grants, of course, I have no grants there. So I need to grant the select and I will be read only. So I will grant select on my share, Delta sharing to the recipient consumer. So now I need to grant the select. And now that I did grant the uh, the select, I'll go to my uh, to my specific environment. So I will open the Python. And now what I will do, I will just, of course, I need to install, uh, first of all, uh, the Delta sharing library. So I need to do pipe, of course, install Delta, uh, Delta sharing. And once uh, this library is installed, I can go and copy paste my code where I will import my data sharing. I will add my uh, my share my my the configuration file I did download. Then of course I will list all the tables. I will add the basic information and then I will load this data as pandas. But of course, if I have PySpark installed in my laptop, I can also use. Uh, uh, of course, uh, 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 Spark. So if I print this data now, you see that I have access to this data so I can run basic transformations and store this data in, in my laptop if I want. Of course, that's only uh, a small data set. And something very, very important, you can also revoke the access whenever you want. Like here, I will just revoke the access. So if now I go back and try to load this data, I will have an error telling me permissions. Uh, the permission is uh, denied. And of course, everything I did here in the UI, in the API, I can also do it through the UI. I just need to go to data sharing. And here you can create, of course, what we call uh, create a share. I will call it sharing, sharing data. And of course, inside the share, then what I can do, I can add tables. Like I can go to demo UC, like both. And here, for example, I can bring, I don't know, uh, Titanic V2, for example. And I can save this, save this share. And again, I can also go, if I want, and I, add, I can add a recipient. I can create a new recipient. I can share it with a Databricks environment, as I can share it with another uh, person. Of course, we have several connectors with Delta Sharing, which works with, uh, for example, uh, Power BI and other, others uh, that you can find in data sharing. And of course, keep keep in mind that data sharing is an open source, uh, an open source protocol. Thank you for attending this session.